Welcome to the spoken tutorial on formulae and functions in calc. In this tutorial, we will learn about conditional operators, if or statement, basic statistical functions, and rounding of numbers. This tutorial is recorded using Ubuntu Linux OS version 18.04 and LibreOffice Suite version 6.3.5. Earlier in this series, we learned to use basic arithmetic operators and average function. Now we shall learn about conditional operators. Conditional operators check for the condition applied on the data by the user. Show results in Boolean, true or false. Let's open personalfinancetracker.ods. This file has been provided to you in the code files link on this tutorial page. Please download and extract the file. Make its copy and use it for practicing. Here under the column cost, we have listed the prices of several items. Let's apply conditional operators on them and analyze the results. Note that the amount for house rent is rupees 6000. The cost for electricity bill is rupees 800. The amount for house rent is more than the electricity bill. We can apply different conditions on them and check the results. Click on cell B10. The result of the condition will be applied and displayed in this cell. In this cell, type the first condition as is equal to C3 greater than C4 and then press the enter key. Since the value in cell C3 is greater than the value in cell C4, the result we get is true. Now, let us change this conditional statement to is equal to C3 lesser than C4 and press enter key. The result we get is false this time. Likewise, we can type some other conditions and study the results. These statements are very useful when dealing with large amounts of data. We can also use the if and or condition on our data. To print the results according to the condition that holds true. Let's try this. Click on cell B10. Type is equal to if and within brackets C3 greater than C4, comma, within double quotes, positive, comma, and again within double quotes, negative. The if condition checks whether the value in cell C3 is greater than the value in cell C4. Accordingly, positive or negative will be displayed. Now press the enter key. Notice that the result is positive since rupees 6000 is greater than rupees 800. Now in the condition statement, let's change greater than to less than and press the enter key. We got the output as expected. You can also see the change in result if we change the data in the cells C3 and C4. Now let us increase the value in cell C4 to 8000 and press the enter key. The result automatically changes to positive. Again, let's decrease the value in cell C4 to 800 and press the enter key. The result again automatically changes to negative. Now, let us delete the changes made. Next, let's learn a few basic and statistical functions. The syntax to write a formula with a function is equal to function name 
sum for addition, arguments, cell references, common basic functions include sum for addition, product for multiplication, quotient for division. Now let me demonstrate how the sum, product and the quotient functions work. First, let's select sheet 3. Type the numbers 50, 100 and 150 within cells B1, B2 and B3 respectively. Click on cell A5 and type the text SUM. Click on cell B5. We shall compute the result in this cell. If we know the function and the syntax, we can directly type it in the respective cell as shown. Type is equal to sum and within the braces B1 colon B3 and press enter on the keyboard. Notice the result shows 300. Undo the change. If we don't know the function name, we can make use of the functions section. Click on the FX icon in the sidebar. The functions wizard opens. It displays a library of all calc functions. From the functions dropdown, select mathematical. The list of all mathematical functions available in calc will be displayed below. Scroll down and double click on the function sum. At the bottom, we can see information about the selected function. Notice the cell B5. The syntax for the selected function is inserted in the cell. Select the cells B1 to B3 as shown with the cursor. Look at the input line. The formula is auto-completed. Now press the enter key on the keyboard. Once again, the result shows 300. Next, let's click on cell A6 and type product. Click on cell B6. From the functions wizard, scroll and double click on the function product. Select the cells B1 to B3 as shown with the cursor and press enter on the keyboard. Notice the result shows 7,50,000. If you wish to select only specific cells, then select those cells by holding the control key. Double click on the function product. Select the cells B1 and B3 as shown with the cursor while pressing the control key and press enter on the keyboard. The new result 7500 is seen. Next, let's see how quotient works. Click on cell A7 and type quotient. Now click on cell B7. We shall use this cell to compute the result. Type is equal to quotient and within the braces B2, B1. Press enter. We will get the result as 2 because 100 divided by 50 is 2. Let's change the number in cell B2 to 151 now. Notice the change in cell B7. The quotient is 3 but the remainder 1 is lost. What if we want to see the remainder? Click on cell B8 and type is equal to MOD and within the braces B2, B1. Press enter. Explore the functions available in the functions wizard later on your own. Close the functions wizard. Next, let's learn how to implement statistical functions. Statistical functions are useful for analysis of data in spreadsheets. For example, statistical functions like count, min, max, median, 
mode. Let us go to sheet 1. Let's see how to find the minimum, maximum and the median costs. This we will do using Calc's statistical functions. Under the column cost, we have very few entries. The minimum cost is rupees 300. The maximum cost is rupees 6000. These are the results which should be displayed when we use the functions. Let's click on the cell C10 where we will be displaying the result. Click on the format as number icon in the formatting toolbar. This applies the numbering format to the selected cell. Now go to the formula bar and select the auto sum icon. From the list select the option min. Select the cells C3 to C7 as shown with the cursor and press enter on the keyboard. Now the result is 300 which is the minimum value. Likewise do for the maximum function. Now the result is 6000 which is the maximum value. To find the median value in the input line replace the term max with median and press the enter key. The result shows 800 which is the median cost in this column. Now let's find the count of all entries in this column. In the input line replace the term median with count and press the enter key. The result is shown as 5 which is the total number of entries in this column. Now let's find the count of all entries in this column which are greater than 1000. In the input line replace the term count with count if. After the range type comma space within double quotes greater than 1000 and press the enter key. The result is shown as 2 which is the total number of entries greater than 1000. Explore other statistical functions and analyze them on your own later. Let us now delete the changes in cell C10. Next let's learn how to round off numbers. Let us make a few changes under the column cost. We shall change 6000 to 6000.34 600 to 600.4 300 to 300.3 Notice that the sum total is 9701.04 Now suppose we don't want any decimal places in our result. The best solution is to round off the number to the nearest whole number. Let's click on the cell C10. Type is equal to round open bracket sum and again within brackets C3 colon C7 and close the bracket. Press the enter key. You see that the result is now 9701. The value 9701.04 is rounded off to the nearest whole number. Rounding off can be done to either the lower whole number or the higher number. Let's click on the cell with the result and edit the term round to round up. Now press the enter key. You see that the result is now 9702 which is the higher whole number. To round off to the lower whole number change the term round up to round down and press the enter key. This time the result is 9701 which is the lower whole number. There are many other functions available in the functions wizard library of calc. Explore and analyze them on your own later. Let us close the file without saving the changes. This brings us to the end of this tutorial. Let us summarize. In this tutorial, we learnt about 
कंडीशनल ऑपरेटर्स इफ और स्टेटमेंट बेसिक स्टैटिस्टिकल फंक्शंस एंड राउंडिंग ऑफ नंबर्स एज एन असाइनमेंट ओपन स्प्रेडशीट हाइफन प्रैक्टिस डॉट ओडीएस फाइल विद द सैलरी डेटा ट्राई आउट मिन मैक्स एंड मीडियन फंक्शंस Try round off function with the same salary data. Undo the changes at the end. The video at the following link summarizes a spoken tutorial project. Please download and watch it. The spoken tutorial project team conducts workshops and gives certificates. For more details, please write to us. Please post your timed queries in this forum. Spoken tutorial project is funded by mhrd government of india this tutorial was originally contributed by desi crew solutions private limited in 2011 this is arvind along with the spoken tutorial team from iit bombay signing off thank you for watching